Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ferris Sicario and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the EEP PEDS overhaul by request. Alright, before we get started here, there are going to be a, a couple of requirements here. You're going to need OpenIV and you're also going to need the EEP Lot Owner and Server Rescue. For, yeah, if, if you need help installing these, I have a couple of uh, recommended uh, tutorial videos here. If you are choosing to install the EUP Law and Order and Server Rescue Free Edition, make sure to follow uh, Benzo's Effect tutorial video right here that I have linked right here. If you are choosing to use the EUP 9.5 Uniforms, the Patreon Edition, I have a rec my recommended tutorial video that I'll also be provided down in the description. And make sure that you also have Open IV, and you can go ahead and follow this tutorial. I have been so effect if you need to install if you need help installing open IV if you don't if you do not already have it with that said go ahead and uh, pause the tutorial make sure you that you have uh, the requirements installed first before continuing on with this tutorial once that's done just go ahead and come back to the video and we'll go ahead and continue with our tutorial here all right that said let's go ahead and get started here we're going to go ahead and go right down here to where it says the PEDS overhaul by Alex Ashfold I'm going to recommend that you use this link right here. This one here is just a lot easier install uh, to follow rather than going to the original link that I provided right here that's on the LSPDFR site. So we're only going to click this one right here. It's going to take you right here. Just go ahead and click the uh, download button if it doesn't automatically already start downloading. All right, once this gets down downloading, we'll go. We'll head back out to the desktop. All right, here we are back at the desktop. Let me go ahead and minimize this here. All right, first thing you do here is we're going to go ahead and bring up our open iv go ahead and select grand theft auto 5 windows all right let's go ahead and move this over here make sure that you're in edit mode if you would like to stay in edit mode all you have to do here is just go to tools go down here to options and then right down here where it says default work mode just go ahead and normally it's going to say read only just go ahead and change it to edit then the next time you sign back into open iv automatically be in edit mode go ahead and close that i'm going to move this over here all right, now we need to bring up our main game directory. Just go ahead and follow the pathway when it shows up on the screen. We guys gonna say open, please. <laughs> we go to make some room here for us. All right, let's go ahead and grab our download and close that. All right, make sure to follow the exact steps that I'm gonna be showing you here. Let's go ahead and open up the WinRAR. All right, so the first thing we do here is we need to install the PEDS overhaul. So we're just simply gonna take this OIV file right here Gonna drag it into our open IV and drop. Next thing you want to do here is go ahead and click install mods folder install. All right, once that's successfully installed, just go ahead and close out of the download here. Go ahead and click here on the top of your open IV to refresh it. All right, next thing you want to do here is you're going to take this folder right here that says drop folders content. Go ahead and take the folder out to your desktop. What we're going to do here is we're going to match the pathway. So let's go ahead and open up the folder. This will take a minute. So what you want to do here is we are going to go over here, back over here to our open IV, and we're going to go to mods. Make sure we get the uh, right one here. And you're going to actually you're going to go to this way so just make sure to follow this pathway you're going to go to update update rpf common data make sure that you go to update update rpf common data over here to the folder you're going to go common data and then you're going to go follow this next pathway you're going to go ahead and go to the open up the ai folder i don't recommend dragging in the folder i always recommend just doing each thing individually you want to open up the ai folder go back over here to your uh content folder go ahead and open up the the ai folder and you're simply going to take this ambient uh, models meta you're going to just drag it in to your open iv like so and drop and as you can see here it's right here mine's already been installed before but we're just overriding mine but yours will normally most likely say uh compressed encrypted once you have it installed it'll just it'll switch to compressed after that go ahead and go back to uh go back up here to your open iv and go ahead and get common like so and then click back here and go to data and let's go back up 
and we're going to take this dispatch meta and we're going to drop it into here and as you can see here here's mine right here simply going to take this same uh, meta file right here this dispatch one I'm going to drag it over and drop easy as that all right let's go ahead and go back up to our folders look all the way back up now we're going to go to time 64. so what we're going to do here is we're going to go back here to update rpf and we're going to go down here to this folder right here that says time 64. go ahead and open it up go back over here to our uh, drop folder content go ahead and go to time 64 and this time we're going to go to we're going to follow this pathway we're going to go to data click data here over to your open iv go ahead and click the data folder and we're going to be replacing the peds ymt which is right down here simply going to take the peds ymt drag into your open iv and drop let's go ahead and go back over to our folders this time we're going to open up the levels one we're going to open up the levels go back over here to your open iv go ahead and click the time 64 this time go down to here to the folder that says levels and we're simply going to replace this uh, zone bind ymt so we're going to take this file here drag it into your open iv and drop make sure there's nothing else here i believe we are done all right so we are done with that let's go ahead and close out of that we are done with the uh, drops folder you can go ahead and delete the folder off your desktop now what we're going to do here is we are going to take this plugins folder and we are going to drag it into our main game directory. So drag your main game directory, make sure not to highlight anything, and drop. I'm going to go ahead and replace mine. Alright, we are done with that. Let's go ahead and actually before we close out of our OpenIV, we want to make sure that our item line is uh, lined up correctly because we installed an OIV file. So let's go ahead and go to mods next you're going to go to update update rpf common data so it's going to be mods update update rpf common data we're going to scroll all the way down here we're going to go right down here to our dlc list we're going to right click on it and click edit we're going to scroll all the way down here to the bottom so you don't have to worry about this space here the what we want to make sure is that the left side is lined up correctly but if you do like to fix this, all you have to do here is just backspace all the way until it lines up, just like so. And as you can see here, this is ours right here. The, it says right here, DLC packs, EUP pads. So we already have it. So it's installed correctly. Don't worry about having uh, two of the same uh, lines here. It does not matter. Just as long as you don't have multiple uh, packages installed, which it wouldn't because it would just override in your DLC packs. But having uh, multiple uh, item lines of the same name does not matter. It won't hurt anything. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's go ahead and go up here to file. Go ahead and go down here to close all archives. So we can go ahead and close out our open IV. We can also go ahead and uh, close out of our main game directory. We have everything installed. Let's go ahead and close out of our WinRAR here. Go ahead and keep this somewhere safe if you like. All right, with that said, now that we have everything installed, I'm going to highly recommend that you restart your PC, and then I will see you all inside LSPDFR, and I will show you what the new PEDs look like. Yeah, we're going to drive a little bit uh, different vehicle. We'll go ahead and drive our unmarked vehicle here. I know, I just got one. Which this is uh, the uh, the Dodge. I believe it's the Dodge uh, Demon. This is by uh, I believe it's by Rabbit uh, Development. I will make sure to leave the link down in the description if you would like to check out this vehicle here. It's one of my uh, favorite ones. I have a lot of fun uh, driving this vehicle. All right, we'll go ahead and do a traffic stop, and I'll call one of the peds. One of our backups, I should say. Shit. Hmm. 
Who's going to be a good candidate? Sorry, coming through. This person looks like a good volunteer. As I crash, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. You got to bust the tail light now. My bad. Dispatch, I'm going to be pulling over a vehicle. Where you going, my friend? Just pull it over. Dispatch, I have a two-door onboard one. Ten four copy. Is backup required? Permitive. Roll me a female officer. Here we call. It. We have a. Uh, a uh, female uh, show up uh, to our backup stop for a while. I'll call in both after uh, she shows up. We'll we'll call one of the uh, male officers so you can see uh, what the ped, uh, pets look like. Any vehicle, sir, will be with you in just a moment. Here, let me go ahead and uh, get first person view so you can see her a little bit better. All right here's one of them, right here. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, dismiss her, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, call it a male officer. Thanks for your time, officer. Oh, flip control, can I get a second unit to my stop? I believe the uh the if I remember right the the it's all all overall uh pets are gonna look different so like for medical fire department uh anything like that they should all uh have uh different looks there's uh their uh the faces are uh detailed a lot more they'll have like uh for like especially like for the males they'll have uh different uh, uh facial hair options oh come on we just <laughs> anyways let's let's check her out Hold still, ma'am. Ma'am. We appreciate you, sir, for volunteering for this. We'll get with you in just a moment. Gonna walk around over here. Yeah, see how, like, they got uh, different hairstyles. Uh, faces a lot more uh, detailed. Let's go ahead and see if we can get another officer in here. Possibly. Try again. Just guys roll me a second unit to my stop. Just gonna keep trying here. We copy you. On standby. Well, right in here, boss. There we go. Yeah, see how he's got uh, blonde hair? You know, just a completely, you know, different look. You know, they all randomize. Oh, I got your back. Thank you, sir. But yeah, you can see he's got more more detailed uh, uh, facial hair. Just a lot more uh, cleaner. Especially, we need to close the intersection at 382. Attention all units. Officer requesting traffic control near Pillbox Hill. One of my uh, favorite features here is the... Uh, Elite vehicle because we're just going to get rid of these default ones here. There we go. All right. Go ahead and uh, get him out of here too. I just want to clear, make a little bit better pathway here. Dispatch requested Red Cross to 382. Assistance needed on Vespucci Boulevard. I need to find it, but I know there was a mod on LSPDFR, just a simple little one. But I think you can do the editing with uh, ultimate backup, but basically makes them the fire department ambulance stay on scene until you dismiss them, which I would like to. Sometimes they, you know, they show up and if there's nothing going on, they just uh, leave. Actually, you know, we can, we can 
you make something happen there we go we need volunteers Hey, thank, thank you. All right, we did. We just need help out here. Oh, you know, we need a fire. My apologies. Fire. Tell me, you do me a favor. Just uh, hold still for me. Right, there you go. There's a couple other uh, overall pins. We're not going to look at them because I don't want to look at the uh, the beanbag chair. Oh, it looks like he did not make it. Dispatch sent a CSI. Gotta promise myself after the tutorial, I need to update my canine, and I need to also I need to put in the uh, the stretcher back in. Are you guys stuck here? Let me help you out. There you go. But yeah, check these uh check these beds out. Now, like I said, you know faces are a lot more uh, uh, detailed, uh, better hairstyles, uh, facial hair, yeah, uh, makeup, all that. You know, dispatch. Can I get a toe? Go ahead and just go up the large tow truck. Tow truck. Assistance required on Vespucci Boulevard. Appreciate all your help. Thank you. All right, slow it down. Don't need to fight for the lane. He's just looking at that puddle of blood. Here comes our tow. Okay, right over here, Pete. It's right up there. All right, clear the lane for you, sir. Go ahead. All right, I think we are ready to uh, reopen the road. Two King Twenty One, go ahead and clear my stop. Attention, all units. Code for no additional officers needed. Unit two, King Twenty One. We've got Hell, let's head over there. On, on my way. Copy that. We're moving right now. Roger. Go ahead and head over there and provide some backup. We're just going to uh, silent code two here. Feeling this vehicle's gonna take off. Oh, right up here. Dispatch, go and show me on the traffic stop. Go ahead. What's going on here? Okay. I got you. All right, boss, you need anything else? You good? Attention. This is right. dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. Special, I'm going to be 10 7 for the day. Roger that, 2 King 21. Alright, my friends, that's going to bring us to the end of our tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please drop me a like. Don't forget to comment down below, and I will see you all in the next LSPD of our tutorial. Have a great day.